As a community health worker, helping people with their life skills is a huge part of what I do. A lot of these individuals have been incarcerated for quite some time, a lot of them most of their life, and I assist them in learning day-to-day -day responsibilities and what are healthy living habits. Well, today we're on our way to meet with Lisa Vasquez. She is a client that I've been working with for quite some time. Lisa is a very intelligent woman that uh, had a very strong career prior to incarceration. And we are going to go today to the farmer's market, which she enjoys. She said that she's felt a big difference in her health. All right, so I'm going to get some parsley and I'm going to get some of that. A bunch of parsley and a bunch of... I'm Corin Carbuccia. I'm a community health worker for Lifespan Transitions Clinic. I grew up in New York. At about the age of 19, I came to live in Providence, Rhode Island. My intentions were to go to college, and unfortunately, my life took a different turn. In 2000, I was arrested for drug possession. And 17 years later, I completed my sentence. So when I became a community health worker, I knew I was in the right place. The Transitions Clinic is a multidisciplinary clinic targeting patients who have had a history of incarceration and who have multiple chronic conditions get linked into care. We are especially good at working with the Rhode Island Department of Corrections to identify people before release and introduce them to one of the two community health workers who really anchor this team. I decided to be a community health worker because I knew through my own experiences I would be able to connect with my community. Community health workers are professionals who are valued because of their peer experience. They have a shared life experience. They've been through it. In Lisa's case specifically, I was assisting with being her support for hepatitis C treatment, housing, sobriety, job search, which you would think is quite enough in itself, just for any individual. And the goal is that less likely for Lisa to return to prison. She was by my side, I should say. If I needed anything, was I okay? How was I feeling? And she stuck by my side, and so did the doctor, and here I am. It's important for me to connect the people I work with, with medical providers, but it's so much more than that. I lead by example. When they see me, they see I can get that job. I can try to make amends with my children. It's the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. Because look at me, I'm healthy now. I'm also the population I serve. I'm just the outcome. <laughs>